For patients with drug-resistant epilepsy, surgery can be a way of reducing seizures and also medication requirements. Depending on the nature of a patient's seizures, surgery can also, in some cases, eliminate a patient's seizures altogether. Traditionally, epilepsy surgery has involved opening the skull and removing a small portion of the brain that causes a patient's seizures. In addition to these traditional resective techniques for epilepsy, we've also added newer, less invasive strategies, such as laser ablation and neuromodulation. In the case of laser ablation, we'll place a small probe about the diameter of a pencil into the brain, and then with the patient an MRI scanner, we'll heat the tissue that's causing seizures to thermally damage it. Neuromodulation for epilepsy involves implanting devices either into the brain or on the vagus nerve of the neck. These devices have the ability to reduce the likelihood that the brain gives off seizures or reduce the spread of seizure activity through the brain. In terms of the recovery after epilepsy surgery, most patients are discharged from the hospital in one or two nights. Some of the procedures we perform are actually outpatient procedures where the patient's able to go home on the day of surgery. The first step will never be to directly go to surgery. The first step is always to better understand this individual's epilepsy. It is the patient who then makes the decision and weighs in what he feels from this option fits best. We had patients who became seizure-free and all their life changed in a way that they can drive again, they can have a job, Others can get even off medications. And then I, I remember patients who then became pregnant, became moms. Every patient is unique. And so it's really what I like is the personalized approach, the patient-centered approach. So it's super rewarding.